This back to school makeup has to be super quick, has to be super easy because you guys want to stay in bed till the very last second, especially I used to do that at school. I wouldn't get out of bed until I definitely had to get off and I do still do that now because I am not a morning person at all. All I've done already is applied my moisturiser because I don't have a drugstore moisturiser but everything else today I'm going to be using is drugstore. For foundation I'm going to be using my good old Pro Glow foundation from L'Oreal. This foundation is really nice for school because it's so lightweight and comfortable. You can really sheer it out as well so no one can tell you've got it on especially the teachers. So I'm going to use shades 204 and 205 today because I did fake tan last night. I haven't used a primer but you absolutely can. I don't always wear one every day to be honest. I don't really feel like I need to every day. So we're just going to start really small. I only want a nice thin layer just to sort of even out my skin tone. I'm not too sure how much makeup you're allowed to wear at school because it's been such a long time since I was at school. It's horrible to say. Maybe like 12 years. 12? Oh my god, 12 years ago I was at school. I don't even want to think about that. So that's a super sheer layer of that foundation. You can still see all my skin showing through, but it's just evened everything out. And now my face matches the colour of my neck as well. For concealer, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Concealer. This is the shade C5. And this is quite full coverage as well, so we don't want to use too much of this. I just need to hide my dark circles. If you were at school, you probably haven't gotten dark circles just yet. I'm putting some of this on my eyelids as well just to even that out. I did use a purple eyeshadow yesterday and it stained my eyes. I could not get it off. I still can't get it off this morning. So hopefully by tomorrow it will have all gone. Okay, now my whole skin looks so much better. It looks really fresh and glowing, which I think is what you want for school, really. You don't want it to be super heavy and cakey. You just want to look fresh and glowing. So I'm going to set a little bit with powder. I'm going to use the Insta Fix and Matte. I'm only going to do my under eyes and just in the centre of my skin where I maybe get a little bit shiny throughout the day. And I literally just go straight in just to save time because you don't want to be having to get up any earlier than you have to to do your makeup. The easier the makeup routine, the better, I think. Moving on to a bit of bronzer, I'm going to use the Milani Baked Bronzer in Glow, and I know I use this all the time. I think I use it in literally every video, but honestly, I absolutely love it. It's so affordable, and I've had this for so long now, and it doesn't even look like I've even used it. Makeup wasn't really that much of a thing when I was at school. It was like 12 years ago, so it wasn't as popular as it was now, but of course, when you are that age, you want to experiment, and everybody's starting to wear a bit of makeup so once somebody starts everyone has to wear it and I was in class one day and the teacher came around with a face wipes and he went and like checked everybody's makeup and he got to me and I had to stand up and I had to take my makeup off in front of the whole class and that just put me off wearing a lot of makeup for school ever again because it was so embarrassing. Okay for blush one that I use all the time is Luminoso from Milani. It's like the only blush that I own and use. <laughs> I think that's it for the skin now. I think it looks really nice. So we're going to move on to brows now. Brows are probably what takes me the longest to do in the mornings. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I use the shade Chocolate. I want my brow to be natural but I do want it to be quite defined as well so it probably won't end up looking that natural. <laughs> Last year I think a back to school video so I'll also leave that up here somewhere. I can never remember which bloody corner it goes in but I'll leave it in one of those corners because you seem to really have liked that one which is why I'm doing this one today. I wanted to do a more of a drugstore one. I'm not sure whether I use many drugstore products in that one. Okay I don't think they look too bad. To set those in place I'm going to use the Brow Drama from Maybelline. If you are blessed with nice bushy brows anyway you can just use this over the top. It will save you so much time if you don't have to do your brows. So I think the look like this with just a little bit of gloss on looks absolutely fine for school. I think it looks really nice without any eye makeup but of course I am going to put a little bit on just in case you are a little makeup geek like me and you want to wear eye makeup to school. I'm going to use the Kali Bible palette from BH Cosmetics because this is again so affordable and all the colours are really nice and pigmented. I'm going to go too heavy on the eyes because I think that eye makeup is what really gives it away at school. I think that's what the teachers look out for. So I'm going to first just use this sort of brownie transition shade just on a fluffy brush and I'm just going to run this through my crease. 
it just defines your crease really nicely and makes your eyes look nice and wide and fresh plus who's got time before school to start messing about with winged eyeliner and things like that i just can't be arsed with that knew me it would go wrong and then i would be late and then yeah a lot of eye makeup in the morning especially going to school or work is just a recipe for disaster <laughs> And I think this makeup routine could be an easy 10 minutes. What do you think? I definitely think I could do this in 10 minutes and then be out of the door. For my eyelid, I'm going to use that one and I'm just going to use my finger just because it's easier. I'm also going to take it in my tear duct and just under my brow bone as well. Using your fingers to do your makeup honestly also saves you so much time. I quite often do my eye makeup with just my fingers and it's just so much quicker. Okay, I think that's it for the eyes. I'm gonna do a little bit of mascara again. I'm not gonna go too heavy because we don't wanna get anything away. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Lash Powered Eye Set. I'm gonna curl my lashes first because I feel like this does make a huge, huge difference. Okay, so now let's highlight because I don't think I'd go anywhere without highlights on. I'm going to go back into this palette. I'm going to use that gold shade right there. Even if I wasn't wearing foundation, I would still definitely wear highlighter. The final thing we need to do is lips and... I think just natural, nude, glossy lip is fine for school. We're not going to be rocking a red lip or anything like that. I'm going to use my favourite nude lip pencil at the moment. This is from NYX. This is in the shade Los Angeles. I like to overdraw mine a little bit. So we're going to overdraw them first. I'm going to apply this gloss from Primark because I love their glosses. I'm not sure what shade this is, but it's just nice and nude. And it smells like cakes as well. So that completes my drugstore back to school makeup routine, which is super quick and easy. I don't think I use that many products either, but I really like how it turned out. I think it looks really nice. Let me know if you guys would wear this for school and I hope you like it. Give it a big thumbs up as well and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.